Hey everyone and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. This video is a super fun weekly vlog including working, exploring London more and going to Bath for a very exciting event. So I really hope you enjoy this video and let's get started. Good morning and welcome to this weekly vlog. It is a beautiful sunny day in London. I feel like I say that in every vlog. I've got a few fun plans this week so I thought I'd do a weekly vlog and I just love recording these for the mums to be honest. Oh my god, story time. See these flowers? I actually found these flowers on the steps of a tube station. It was on Sunday at Royal Victoria Tube Station which is just across the river from North Greenwich. Me and Lucy were going there to go on the cable cars. And we were literally just like going out of the station and there was a huge bunch of Waitrose flowers, 20 pounds it said on the label, and they were the most beautiful flowers ever. I was scared to pick them up at first just in case it was like a trap. Like obviously it wouldn't be, but I just think about those things. But Lucy immediately grabbed them and it was all fine. Someone must have just left them there. But like, can you believe I got a 20 pound bunch of Waitrose flowers for free? Like. I just love that. It's nearly 10 a.m. and I have got a meeting with my placement tutor from uni and my manager from work. Which I just feel a bit embarrassed. I feel like it's like a parents evening vibe. Because the purpose of it is like to see how I'm getting on at the placement and just like if I'm doing okay, if there's any concerns, um, like what skills I'm learning and everything. And yeah, I just feel a bit... I don't know, I'm just a bit nervous for it. Like, it's gonna be fine, but I'm just a bit like, ooh. Just got my mini desk set up, and I actually wrote some notes for the meeting last night. Like, I wrote them really detailed. I was just nervous, so I was just like, I'm just gonna prepare what I'm gonna say. I've been doing all of my planning on Notion. This is what mine is looking like. Um, some like sections are more filled in than others. I actually made myself a wish list of like things I want. Some of these things are ridiculously expensive and I won't buy them, but it's just fun to have them on a wish list and like kind of, I don't know, just like a dream world. But I've got my little section for uni and in my placement year, I've just got like things that I need to think about. And then this is my meeting prep. And yeah, there's nothing like confidential on here. It's just about like skills that I'm learning and stuff. So and then this is like a form that I had to do, so I just filled out that as well. Hi. Yeah, fine, thanks. How are you? Okay, the meeting is done. It went fine. It was literally nothing to worry about. Um, it was really casual. There was like a form we had to fill out and we were just like talking through and like seeing what to write down. Um, it was definitely like quite just like rushed and yeah like casual. I think the meetings like this are more just as like a checkbox for the uni, not really like they don't need a lot of detail about like what you're doing and everything. If you haven't started uni yet and you're thinking of doing a placement year, it might be useful for you to know that you do have to pay to do a placement year. It's the tuition fees are like £2,000 rather than the like 9000 That's paying for like the meeting I just had and that's pretty much it um i guess i still have access to the library and things like that i mean I, I don't really know what to think of it maybe maybe it's normal i guess like you're paying just to be a student still and like be enrolled in the union it does feel a lot two thousand pounds considering like i organized the placement all by myself it's fine moving on now i'm just gonna look at my tasks for the day and write a little to-do list and like prioritize and everything because I just feel so much more productive when I've actually like written down a plan for the day otherwise I kind of just kind of I do something and I'm like oh what should I do next and I just waste time so I don't like doing that I'm gonna write a plan now I've just written down everything I need to do today and then assigned like a timing for it. With like huge tasks like edit a YouTube video, I like to break it up. So like do an hour in the middle of the day and then some in the evening or most of it in the evening. Um, and I'll sometimes do like YouTube editing before work as well. So I'll 
I'll give you a food haul. I got these seaweed things. I have just opened these and I forgot how much plastic they use. Like they're actually so bad. And they're quite expensive for what they are. They're like two pounds for like three packs. And it's seaweed, like dried seaweed. It's really not filling at all, but they taste incredible. It's like a little tray and then they look like this and they've got salt on and they're incredible. This is not like a full food shop, by the way, because I'm going away this weekend, so. Frozen raspberries for my porridge. Then I got some salad ingredients for lunch. I'm gonna make this now. Salad leaves, tomatoes, croutons, vegan chicken. And I've also got some lentils and sweet potato, which I might add in there. Then for snacks, I got some yogurt and strawberries and some granola to go with it. Then I got some vegan mints. I'll probably use this next week, but um, I just got it because it was on my nectar prices. By the way, this is such a mom thing to include in the vlog, but if you guys didn't know, I've literally told everyone I know about this because I feel like it's so useful. If you have a nectar card and download the nectar app, then it like tracks what you buy and then it gives you offers on the things that you usually buy. So it won't give you offers on anything you've not bought before, which is good because I I buy quite similar things every week so if i get an offer on like this again like i'm happy to have that next week as well and to get the offers you have to do scan and shop but that's fine because i prefer doing that anyway top tip and it honestly makes the food shop so much cheaper like these are usually two pound 20 and i got them for one pound 70. this mince is usually two pound 50 and i got it for one pound 70 so like the prices are actually a lot lower Got some apples to go on my porridge. And then for treats, I got ginger snaps and rich tea biscuits. And that is just my favorite treat, like a cup of tea and biscuits. Like, I just love that. Oh my God, also, I've pulled my back in the gym. Like, I don't know if it's pulled because I don't really know what like pulling a muscle is like because I don't know if I have before. I was on the leg press and I did my first set and that was fine. And then as soon as I pushed it to go on the second set, like all of a sudden I just got this like sharp pain in my back and I obviously stopped. But I can't like reach down for things, like I can't bend my back. So I'm a bit worried. I'm just gonna hope it like heals itself. <laughs> my first time going to Hampstead Heath which I can't believe because it's not too far from me and it's absolutely beautiful and I just used this time to drink my coffee and do some planning for the day and just soak up the nature to be honest. It was so nice because I usually don't see much nature in London so coming here almost felt like I wasn't in London. <laughs> Good morning from a lady of leisure over here. It is like 8.30 right now. I've got my face mask on. This looks so funny. It's one of the Garnier ones. If you know, you know. These are the best. And I've just eaten my breakfast, having a coffee, and I'm watching Friends. So I actually have the day off work today because my mum is coming to visit and we are going to see Mamma Mia. I'm literally so excited. I got it for my mum as a Mother's Day present and it's a surprise. So she's getting the train to London. She's going to be here at like 12 and I'm going to go meet her and tell her what we're doing. And then the show is at 3 and we're going to get food before that. So it's going to be such a fun day. It's so fun having the day off work. Like just sitting here right now, like eating my breakfast, watching friends. And then I'm going to like do some of my own editing. Like... This is just my perfect day in the life. I've just taken the face mask off. Oh, my skin feels incredible. I know that I've got a couple of breakouts, but apart from that, like these face masks are a miracle. Like I feel like these are the only face masks that like you actually see instant results, like instant hydration. My skin feels like so much nicer. I should probably get ready now. And I really need to go to Zara because I have an event tomorrow night and I don't have a dress for it because I've not been to an event since like before COVID, I think. So I don't have any like nice, like formal clothes really. I 
had like two dress options but I got them when I was like 16, 17, they don't fit anymore so I usually like I don't want to buy like fast fashion and stuff but it is kind of an emergency and what I'm going to try and do is get um something that I can wear for this event with like heels but then also something that I could wear in the summer with like flip flops or trainers so like I want like a very versatile dress like not something that will like go out of fashion hopefully um and I feel like Zara has a lot of like simple stuff so I am going to look there Hello stranger it's been a minute since we last kissed the urge to go out just like this is so strong. I've literally just put eyebrow gel and curled my lashes and a bit of concealer. I'm obsessed. I've made this mistake before though. Like I look really good at the start of the day and like glowing and natural. And then for some reason, I just look really bad by the end of the day. And I don't know why or how it happens, but nothing even changes. But like by the end of the day, I just look dry and like crusty. So I probably will do some more makeup to be fair. My room is a complete mess, but I am ready to go. Here's the outfit of the day. Got these white jeans, a blazer, and like a little puff sleeve top under here. First stop will be Zara to find a dress, hopefully. By the way, just got in town. And I won't let you in this cloud. It's all in the sky. Ruin my vibe. I'm trying on the dresses again for tonight and I think this is the dress like I haven't even tried the other one on yet again but I'm loving this I'm so glad I got the smaller size because I tried on a small and it was a bit too big and I didn't have time to try the extra small but I just bought it and this is the extra small I really love the little green beads here I think they're so cute I think this dress is actually supposed to be like floaty and like oversized because I am a small like I'm not an extra small and this is like still like a little bit big around here um so I think that's just the style of the dress but I actually love that because I don't want it to be tight at all especially after some drinks and stuff okay I actually do love this one as well um it does need an iron but this one definitely feels a bit more expensive and it's actually cheaper than the other one we are getting ready for fight night I'm very excited but we were saying oh, we're shit, it's not it's started already oh has it Fuck, no, oh my god no like five minutes ago oh, okay the doors have opened but we need to be there by 6 30 because that's when the fights start yeah we were saying it's kind of scary because like people like die from this stuff. <laughs> See, i think they've got ambulances and stuff on site oh really yeah but like and like medics and stuff well, definitely, i feel like some people will definitely bleed because you know when you like you watch the boxing fight there's like blood. Yeah, they'll definitely be bleeding, I feel like. <laughs> it's weird because I, I forgot about the fact that they're actually properly hitting each other. Like they're properly swinging. Can I borrow that brush? Yeah. I don't actually think I could physically stand there and actually hit somebody as hard as I, can, as, hard as I could. No, I can't. <laughs> but yeah. It's, it's got like their like fighter names and then the Mia the monster. <laughs> <laughs> Amy the animal. Amy, yeah, that's a good one. Amy the animal pie. <laughs> animal. Okay, I'm nearly ready. I'm actually loving the look now. I feel like the dress is a tiny bit low. Like, I want it to be lifting. But also, I wasn't sure where to do a red lip because I've got red nails. I feel like I always regret a red lip. Okay, I decided on the red lip. I actually love it, especially because I'm like all in black. Oh, but it's golden hour. Nice Gorgeous. Very exciting. Thank you. Thank you very Thanks. much. We're in. I fucking fell down in front of everyone outside. Yeah, nobody saw. Sure. Nobody saw. Like, I don't believe that. No, I literally let the see. Okay, who should see that? Nobody saw it. Like, nobody, literally nobody looked. I fully fell onto the ground opposite the queue. Opposite the queue. 
I found down in zero. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Now we're at the bottom. Yeah. Amy stacked a whole flight of stairs. So we've got the best one. So it's fine. Okay, yeah, we've all been there. We've got to be humbled somehow. I can't believe I left them there. Good job it's not the boys' toilets. <laughs> Otherwise, they would have been spiked. Guys, we have just come to the stable, which is a pizza place. Their top friend is working. <laughs> 50% off food. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're waiting. Yeah. One of our friends works here and she's just served us, and we're getting half price food. It's incredible. And we're waiting for Stephen. He's like, Literally across the road as well. Yeah, he's across the road at Comedia sorting out the venue, so we'll see him soon. Eating since about 2 o'clock. So What's your time? It's 10 to 10. 10, to 10. <laughs> I've not eaten in 6, 8 hours. Are she really cute in here? Last time I came here, it was with you, Lana, S and Carrie. Yeah, with the whole house. And they didn't have any vegan pizzas, which is so disappointing. Yeah, but they do now. Yeah, they do. That's the food again. I might go with my hair. Yeah. It is really nice here, yeah. You should come here with Stephen, maybe. Yeah, I should. I should come on a date night here. Like, even this table, like, with the candle. I know, I know. It's, it's really... It's just so far. Yeah, it, it is quite... We are actually quite far away. I need to be there. Yeah. I don't have to shut up. Wow. How do you rate your night out of 10? 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm good, I'm good. I'm really good. I'm really happy with that night. It was amazing. I'm very proud of you. Oh, thank you, Pete. It means a lot that you are. It was a bit stressful, but it was good fun. <laughs> very good fun, actually. It's getting better fun by the minute because I'm starting to realise how good it was. <laughs> <laughs>